they take a little bit of time getting up but they know now this is their favorite time of the day because they get excited because they come in for their tea and their beds are all done so they've got nice big thick straw beds which my lovely children have done for me today so i can have a have a rest they've been brilliant the kids and nick obviously with oscar getting bigger as you can see it's finding i'm finding it harder and harder to to muck out i'm quite a healthy person i can normally normally do it but the bump gets in the way so when you're trying to use the fork it's quite difficult to lift it up but we're doing good all right so they've gone off around the back so i'm going to turn you off and then i'll take you up to the stables and show you them all in their nice clean stables so just come up to find nick i wanted to show you we did a little bit of baby oscar shopping this has been chosen by rupert jurassic world obviously you are magic i mean can you can you believe when we found this one and then little dinosaurs and we've got these little little nappies over here so yes it's all getting very exciting but i'm going to take you around we're just going to see if we can find find nick we're just getting the house ready obviously for hopefully a potential sale and here he is cleaning windows i don't think they've been cleaned since we moved in <laughs> i'm doing cobwebs and window cleaning so um yeah we're getting there slowly but surely we've got so many windows in this house and nick has been cleaning solid for the last 24 hours so i think he'll be pleased when it's over which is why we haven't done it before i don't think i think it's been done probably twice in the whole time we've lived here no i think we've done it more than that <laughs> how shiny it is you can't see them well you can see this this will be the before and i'll show you the after so this is rupert's bedroom so we're trying to keep the kids bedrooms as normal as possible because obviously it's not nice for them to have everything boxed up most of the house is boxed up but this is his, his um, room on the broom. I don't know if anyone knows it. And then all his toys and he's got his little teepee. And over here we have the Gruffalo and his, his bed. So he's, um, yeah, he's been told to keep it tidy, which to be fair, Rupert's actually quite good at keeping his room tidy. He's not too bad. It's the other two that, that, um, that make a nice lot of mess. Okay, so we're just cleaning the windows and uh, making it as spick and span as we can because we've got a couple of viewings, one at the end of this week and then I think possibly one the week after. Uh, we've got another agent coming out to put it on the book. So it looks like there's some interest, so fingers crossed. Um, and yeah, it's a beautiful house. Like we've always said, it's just a bit the other way. Like we were saying, we need somewhere suited for the horses and we've made this the best we can but now um it's time for new pastures so hopefully uh someone will fall in love with it as we did and um we'll be able to um find somewhere better suited for the horses like we said we we're trying to find um something we're ready to go so we've got stables we've got a bit of concrete so we can manoeuvre them and it's just more comfortable for the old legend so hopefully um yeah we'll uh we do it but in the meantime it's just um get it as uh clean and tidy as we can and um yeah hope someone falls in love with it so my job today on the day off is cleaning windows and uh cobwebs <laughs> i'll just take you through and show you quickly this is we go out of the little room here oh this is oscar's bedroom but apparently it's empty because we took everything out to get it ready for a nursery and in here this bit we didn't realise we had. Oh, excuse me, I'm trying to squeeze through the door. This is called the barn lounge. It's quite amazing. It really is. At the moment, I've just got my washing hanging up in it because I don't know where to hang hang it. But so this is the this is the barn lounge. It's absolutely huge. It's a hundred square meters. This room it goes all the way around. A big staircase that goes down here to excuse the mess because we're in the process of tidying up and you go down there and that leads you outside onto the into the stables and the car park so so yeah it's quite a quite an amazing room you've got a little snowy say hello snowy oh she said hello oh and here we have rupert didn't see you there what are you doing i'm using my game you're using your game hmm they're only allowed a little bit of time we don't do ipads in this house we only have this one here and Rupert's getting his, his 45 minutes on it, which he gets 
roughly every other day. We try and keep him off of it, to be fair. He doesn't use it that often, so he's um, hidden in here. The, bo the other boys don't have iPads or anything. Um, Toby has a Switch because he's a bit older now, um, which he, again, is limited on what he can do. Um, but no, we're, we're quite strict on that. I like to keep him outside doing different things. Cake, cake baking and playing with conkers and things, don't we, Ray? This is what you do on your day off. <laughs> Clean windows. Couldn't ask for a better view though, to be fair. Just sat on the bed. This is the view outside Rupert's bedroom window. We did have a balcony, didn't we? But... Yeah, yeah, there was a balcony in here, but we had to take it down because unfortunately there, when we moved in there was a building on the back of the house that was um, collapsing and it was the balcony was on the top but just behind these bears here that's, you know, there's a big beautiful big glass door that we've hidden with this um, shelving unit which walked straight out onto a balcony it was lovely oh we're getting there now I'm just gonna sit back down again and just watch this is fun it's quite fun being pregnant you can watch everyone else work garden paddock right now this is this is um magic special paddock because he's only got one eye um he goes in here all of the time and um, we keep it nice and flat for him so he knows knows where everything is and at the back there you've got rupert's ponies kimmy and totty eating the nice fresh grass that's coming through because of course we've had a bit of rain well, quite a lot of rain so it's all gone nice and green again which is lovely the horses love it and you've got some goats sleep at the end there We got all the burrs out of Totty's mane and then she proceeded to go straight back and do it again. So she looks the same. So I think we're gonna leave it and <laughs> get them out once a week rather than trying to do it daily. Look at that little bottom. It's mum and daughter, these two. So we got daughter first um, and then we were contacted and asked if we'd like mum, which of course we said yes. And you'd never seen anything so beautiful when they got reunited. Oh, it's gonna melt your heart. It was amazing. So yeah, so they're inseparable, these two. And they've got a lot of life of us, they'll never go anywhere. What we've been ridden by, um, well, Totty, sorry, Kimmy the baby isn't ridden, but Totty's ridden by Rupert all the time, as you've probably seen. And uh, then he's got, she's got baby Oscar as well to look after. And um, yeah, they'll be with us forever. All our animals are with us forever. <laughs> they never go anywhere, that's why we've got so many. Who have we got down here? Who's this? Hello? What are you doing, Skibby? Hello? What are you doing? Oh, we've got a few coming over now. We've got little Larry. Hey, Laz. Can you tell me you love me? Larry? Larry. Say, I love you. I love you too. And then the happiest dog in the world ever, Muff. Are you happy? Are you happy, Muff? Are you happy? You're just so happy. Yes. She's just so happy to see everybody and anything. Doesn't matter what it is. So, yes. So, I think I'm going to go in, put some dinner on. Enjoyed being outside for a bit on my little walk. Take you around to see what's going on. It's absolutely lovely, all the trees are blowing. It's a beautiful weather. And there's the house and the stables. Nick's little car. This is a well here. This is how we get 
um, it's working well so that it actually gives the water to the horses so it's really lovely it's beautiful here we'll be so 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 sad to go we really really will we absolutely love our home but it's not suitable for old horses as it is so it's either going to take lots of money to make it m m more suitable for older horses or we move to somewhere that's already made for them and um, I think with the weather that we've had this year hang on a minute boys be quiet I can't talk with the weather we've had this year it's been so hot that if we can move more north for the animals I think it would be it's kinder kinder for them so so we'll give this up for them but we love them all so much so it does it's not it's not hard really who have we got here we've got another one arrived who's this one oh bubbles say hello bubbles this is Toby's dog we try and get Toby, well I say we try and we didn't need to try very hard. He takes her for walks, long, long walks. He's got a harness and they go off to, there's an abandoned castle locally and they go off and walk around that and they have a great time, the pair of them. Right, so I'm going to go in and um, I'll upload this video for you. I'm going to put some dinner on and uh, yeah, and we'll try and get back in the next couple of days. Oh, we've got, they're all coming in now. They all want to be on the camera. There you go, this is Pom Pom. Say hey Pom. Anyway, I really am going to go because if anyone else comes, I'll be here all day. So, yes, we shall talk to you soon. Bye. Got one more little animal to show you. This is Lily, our dear old dog. She's 14 and unfortunately um, she's got um, kidney failure. So she's under the vets. She spent the last four days in the vets. She came home yesterday. Um, she's on some special tablets and some special food, but she is 14. So we know that obviously, you know, the time does come. It's a regular thing here, as we've said before with everyone so old so but she's quite happy she's still wigging her tail and she's drinking and eating and she's been to the toilet um she's been on on a drip for four days so this is this is telltale whether she'll be able to continue for a bit or whether whether you know this is time for her but she's much loved and she's gonna she's been in laying on her she's got a lovely big round chair right next to the fire so she lays lays on here and she comes to bed of us at night so we're just going to keep spoiling her until until you know that that decision has to be made but I thought I might show you her because it might be might be one of our last videos eh Lils we spend lots of times together mm -hmm. back in the UK she used to come to all the horse shows with us she's been everywhere in fact she's been moving Nick and I most of our married life we rescued her um she was a um we believe a puppy farm dog that was barren um so she came to us very young she was quite young but she was barren she wouldn't have puppies so she's in a pretty bad way, but she came to us and she's lived with us ever since. Haven't you? You do look old now, darling. But anyway, she's had a good, good life. And hopefully she's got a good few months with us. As I say, she's under the vet and we'll just, just keep watching her and see what happens. Um, but she's very loved and she knows it and that's all that matters. Hello, everyone. And thanks for watching the... The last little update of our impending move. Um, I've nearly finished all the windows. I've got a little bit more to do today, um, but we're getting there and very exciting times ahead. As you might know, we've seen a property further north, which is about four and a half hours from here um, in the department of Mayen. And Sadie and Mo, um, our friends from the Petherics, have very kindly gone and videoed it for us. It looks fantastic. There's lots of stables. Uh, well, it's a her, her, it's called a harass in French, which is a breeding farm, which is exactly what we need. It's got fencing in the paddocks. It's got concrete. It's got some lovely barns. Lots of stables. The house is in um, a bit of disrepair, so that's something we've got to look into. And with Oscar on the way. Um, it's something we need to consider, but it's a, it looks like a really, really exciting option. So, um, yeah, exciting times coming, um, with that. Hopefully the move or the interest here, um, goes well and we get a good offer and we can put the wheels into motion. So that's going to be a really, really exciting and action packed, uh, few months um, when, when it all goes ahead and then leading into next year there's going to be plenty of uh, vlogging and uh, lots and lots of material which is very interesting so um, we've got the Darling Buds of Moon which is the family stuff as, as you know and we've got Legacy of Legends which is our 
our passion and our horses and the animals and that's something which we we try and keeping separate but it's uh, an integral part of our lives and we've had people asking can they donate and um, send gifts for the legends which is fantastic and thank you so much and that is possible um, through normal process but just because of Brexit and a few of the other uh, bits of red tape here in France we need to mark it down as a gift uh, we'll put the association number at the bottom so you can package up stuff you can send it across if it comes as cadeau which is the French for gift uh, with the association number hopefully there won't be uh, any taxes to pay and yeah well it'll really really help the horses so thank you all to everyone that wants to do that um, and we've had mentioned that people want to do the Patreon accounts um, and we're looking into that and that will be something uh, we can do and we will be doing for continued and regular support. Um, but at the moment, just on a time scale with all the move and Oscar and all the stuff that's going on, we want to be able to dedicate that time to you guys individually as much as possible. So we're just going to so put that on the back burner we'll look into how we can do that and maybe um make that a part of the next bit of what we're doing so um with the move as i say there's going to be lots and lots of content lots of exciting stuff happening as you can imagine with moving a family and all the animals and everything uh across france there's going to be be lots of stuff to follow and lots of exciting stuff but we just want to be able to give everyone as um as much content as as we possibly can of of quality so um we'll look into it we'll keep you posted uh but thank you all again for your support and um i'm gonna sign off now we've got the the agent lady coming who's gonna hopefully um think she's got someone in mind for the house so yeah exciting times ahead and um we'll keep you updated and yeah keep you posted